Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Now in the previous episode we started putting in some industry which is right over here. We've got a couple of water mills in place. Let me just bring back the UI. A few water wheels, um, gear workshops and also lumber mills. Now I did also mention that I sort of don't think this is going to be a permanent solution. And I've done a lot of thinking about this. And I think, or I believe, that I've come up with a, with a solution. Before we go into that solution, uh, it does seem that our potatoes are just not doing, not doing that good at all. So what's going on here? Got a few potatoes in stock. 16. You're still cooking. Well, what are you up to? Oh uh, yeah, you just carry on a few potatoes. Okay, so what will be very useful for us? Beavers and haulers and builders. Now, we are in a drought situation right now. So I'm not entirely sure that getting more beavers will be the best idea. However, we might do. Okay, so before we get to expanding this section here, we were also building up those levees. Let me just give them a higher priority. Yep, beautiful. So, going into the production zone, I've got a solution, and that solution is going to be, let's build up the, bring up the building plans, and the solution is something like this here. Before they start building it, let me just deprioritize, well, everything. Right. So let's have a look through. I hope it's not too difficult to see it because, because it's all red now. But essentially, in this corner, we are going to have a triple stack industrial log pile. And to answer, I think in one of the previous videos, I think in one of the early ones, I didn't address it in the past three. Um, the industrial log pile requires logs. So that is why for a very long time, we did not construct this one here. So my apologies for uh, highlighting this so late, but, uh, well, better late than never. Right, so we're going to have this triple stack over here. In the front, we will have three lumber mills, and these are all connected by power. So we got three of those. We can always expand it. So I've left this space in here. I just wanted to start it from the, from the corner. And yeah, so it is um, possible to expand it. We've got three of them few shrubs in front of it and they still get the bonuses. I think in the middle would be nice to stick uh, one of those benches in there. Then uh, what they essentially do is they've got a very very uh, close by access to the logs. They'll turn them into the planks. Planks, uh, I think I'll have to bring this down. There are two small warehouses tucked behind the lumber mills and that is where we'll, we will be storing planks. So hopefully if we have haulers, this looks like a perfect corner for the haulers. The haulers will carry blanks either directly to the gear gear shops here. Uh, workshops, yeah. Or we will stock them in the small warehouse. So we should have a nice backlog of, uh, of resources here. So we've got a nice staircase system going up. And also underneath. To access both of those warehouses. And if you go up a little bit more... This is where our gear workshops are, and right next to them, this, I think, um, we'll be using this to store the gears. Yeah, that should be a pretty good plan. Now, also, let me just go max height. In here, I will deprioritize this, but we are going to start building um, a second level of, uh, of dams, I th think. Yeah, I'll deprioritize it even more because I'm not 100% sure it, it's going to be there. It might even be higher. But yeah, that, that will, uh, we'll, we'll get to this a little bit later because we are going to need some more levees in here. But also direct the water flow. So some, some dams and, well, only one I th I'm thinking. And then a couple of levees to make sure that water isn't going to come down here straight into our um, production zones and and make them unusable. Cool, so that is the rough plan. I think for this drought we have enough water in here. Yeah, it's only 12 days. So let's resume the simulation. And um, 
before we really start building this up, we um, do want to have these levees complete first. Yeah, we definitely want to have them completed. What I've also done, I did want to give them a alternative way around the system of levees here. And that is just so we can uh, keep building this. So maybe it's not a bad idea to build this first, actually. Yeah, let's do that, beavers. Cool. Now, this is still providing us enough power, is it not? No, it's not. Okay, we are going to need uh, a little hamster in a wheel there. And I am pretty sure we will not be using this area at all. What's in here? Logs. Okay, maybe we'll just keep it because there's a couple of logs in here. But the, the rest is pretty, pretty good. Right. So with that being... Um, done now, I think... Uh, I'm just not really sold on getting more beavers. Right before we know that there's another 12 days of drought ahead of us. Let me just speed up the time actually a little bit. And... Once those trees... Uh, yeah, we lost the water in here. And we do have the option to pour some water. But the reason why we did not do this earlier is because I had already planned that this set of levees is going to go higher. So what's the point of sticking one... Um, what's it called again? The floodgate? In there if we are going to have to delete it very soon anyways. Okay, so these are up now. Let's stick a few more levees. And um, we'll do the same once again. Give them a slightly higher priority. The walkway seems to be coming along very nicely indeed. And <laughs> we do... Where are the levees? Can stick a few in here. Uh, let me think. Do we want to go up here? No, we don't. I guess we could use another walkway too. Well, they are going to have to come up. From somewhere eventually. Yeah, because this isn't going to be enough here. Oh, actually it might. But efficiency-wise and speed-wise. Then that means... No, we want to have a ladder system somewhere in the middle. So this might not be a bad idea to create a um, separate access point. Yeah, we can have one here. Other side is fine. And one over here to build all this up as well. And now we can check how far can those beavers go. Okay, so they can still go all the way here. How about if we build this set of stairs? Now, uh, what's going on? Oh, water. And uh, do, 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 do. beavers. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll do some more beavers then. And I think for that, since, um, well, berries are stored there, so I guess it doesn't matter which side of the river we're going to do them. Because this side is going to, well, it's definitely going to be changed quite a bit. I mean, I suppose we could bring the berries. What is it? Bread, grilled potatoes, and carrots. Okay, so we could have another small warehouse for berries. And then, um, small, yeah, small warehouse here. Don't want them. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna disconnect it, and that's because in case I miss when they complete it, I'll be able to set the right ingredients that we want to store there. Okay, a few more levies. Looking good. Give you a high priority as well. And the walkway is nearly done. We just need, um, couple more planks. Are we... Yeah, we are short of planks. Okay, so you know what? Oh, you're full already. Okay. Yeah, so we got enough gears in store right now. You can do a few more. Perfect. So we'll just leave the banks... Uh, not banks. Blanks. Uh, working to support our construction efforts. Okay, so we've got the walkway in place. Let's have a look distance-wise. Oh, they can still keep walking up here. Wow, that is that is really amazing. Well, in that case, 
You know what? I'm just gonna fill this up. And these roads can be taken out now. Which means... I know it's gonna look like a massive box, but that is fine. That is absolutely fine by me. And we'll do the same in here. Now on this side, I've got to do the same thing, but fortunately it's only two levels, so... We'll have to just figure out what is the best access. Which I think actually is going to be these stairs. Let's see, right in here, any? Yep. Something like so. And then we'll just see how high do we still need to go. Okay, beavers, uh, we got one unemployed. Where do we need you? Ah, oh, potatoes. Okay, we need to figure something out. Maybe like a temporary farm somewhere. Could do a few potatoes here. Let's see, you can walk pretty far, right? Okay. I think I've got an idea. I wonder, yeah, if we stick a farm in here. Oh, no, it's going to be in the way. Yeah, whichever company. Oh, well, could put a few platforms down. Let's trial this. Farm in here. And just a whole bunch of extra potatoes. But that means we're also blocking the... Our staircase. Oh no, the staircase could come from here. Well, let's see. We're gonna queue it up. And some of these roads can be taken out now. That is good. Levies. And you're almost done as well, aren't you? Yep. That is correct, and we can give you a high priority now. So yeah, that's gonna take a little bit of a uh, little bit of our uh, time. Now, other things, right? So we are gonna leave this area as it is. This way, this far, we cannot reach. So that means we are gonna need a temporary, uh, like a district center, which it seems this is not a. Bad spot. Let's see. Food. Oh, batteries are going down. So, another gather. And we got a four unemployed beavers. I'm thinking either haulers or... No, we're going to have more construction beavers. Let's see. Builder's hut. Can you fit in there? Yes, you can. Uh, <laughs> no... Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a permanent solution, but oh well. Let's just have one there. Uh, at least solve some of our problems. Okay, did we give them a high priority? No, we did not. Same at the top there. And you know what? Let's have get this farm going as well. Same with the stairs. I know there's quite a few priorities, but that's okay. We've got the builders in now, so four of them... Water situation is slowly going down. Um, I do wanna. I, I'm fully aware that we have this large water tank, but I don't wanna build it until we get those levees up in in here. And this also means I have to think about: do we wanna just put platforms on top, or we do more warehouses? Warehouses might not be a bad idea because it can be just literally the same resources. Yeah, because food does not spoil, so the more we can store, the better for us. Um, we just need farms big enough to be able to fill those warehouses up. And a few uh, trees have been chopped down, so we will happily fill that with more potatoes. What is your problem? You don't have a road. Yes, you do now. So, two beavers. Who wants to go? Science, now let's leave four in there. We also don't want to take them out from the construction site, but... You know what, let's let's just take two for the time being. And did we put potatoes down there? Really hope we did. Yes, we did. So, a couple of them. I want to get the harvest and plant them in there as well. 
Okay, so you've got quite a big reach, actually. So, what I'm thinking... Most of it, yes. Potatoes, for sure. But... I'd also like to start planting some wheat in here. What we'll tell you is potato planting is your priority. But if you have time, please do plant some wheat as well. Cool, so a few more levies in place give you a higher priority. Off you go. And I think it is time to start patching up this corner here too. Oh, another water level dropped. There goes another set of levies. I just want to get this corner done first, which means we can then batch it up over here. Okay, so they've put in a few more levies whilst they have a little bit of spare time. Oh, right, I see, I see. So with the water level drop, we can't, I cannot plant this many hmm, potatoes. So that actually means... Have they planted potatoes here? No. So they need to be able to reach them. Gotcha. Okay, learning every day. And I think for the time being, we can pause this building. We don't need those pivots there. And we can do more, even more potatoes in this location. Okay, we got a couple of spare beavers. Water, berries, we're good. Uh -huh. Now, I think what we'll also do... We will use this land to fill it up with more berries. And I think in the future here, these berries are going to go. But for the time being, they are perfectly fine. We could also get them berries there. And to be able to plant those berries, we need a temporary... Uh, let's see where to place you. Okay, let's get rid of you... No, still don't quite have the reach. That's unfortunate. I will do here. It is fine. And a few spare beavers. Did we no, we didn't. So, off you go. You are part of our construction team once again. And let's keep the time running. Good. Getting there. Slow and steady. But we're getting there. Couple more in. I think you should be also slightly high priority. 5.3 days left. Berry numbers are slowly starting to go up. That is good. And someone's already planting some more berry bushes in here. Good. Is this built yet? No. Let's have you built then. Oh yeah, we do have a couple of uh, beavers taking down the ruins here. But I'm thinking, let's take you out. We've got enough stored. I think they're actually full. Yeah, they're full. Okay, so we don't need you there. We've got a, two spare beavers. And I have a feeling that the next step will be... Well, at least the next reasonable step will be to get the hauler station in somewhere. Uh, maybe they could help out. Yeah, we are going to do one here. No, wrong, wrong house. There we go, that's the holding post. One here will give you the highest priority. I want this done straight away, if you can, please. And the reason for that is... These haulers can empty the farms and bring all the food into the right... Well, warehouses. Which are closer to the... where the beavers live. I think we can also move you over now. I'll unpause this building. Ooh, that's pretty straight away but I think uh, yeah so we got we are gonna eventually move them out but for the time being there isn't anything too special why they must be here for sure that is fine in well in case we have some farmers then maybe it's closer to live them for them to live here right we don't have any more spare beavers uh, population has really ramped up we're up to 44 but I guess yeah you're gonna be a lonely lonely hauler Right, more potatoes. Good. We didn't get them all. Now we do. And yeah, a few more levies. We're just gonna keep doing this slowly. Let's see. You are done. So how about we say none? And maybe just store some more berries in here. So now we got all the different types of food. Which is very good indeed. 
and then the next step should we yeah i guess we should or we shall start putting in more levees as well so that is the max height what we need i believe if we as long as we haven't done uh maybe we are wrong yeah it's gonna have to be one more level oh wow that is wait let's just double check one two three four five six no we're correct it doesn't have to go up there uh am i correct on the other side one two three four five six did i miss count no i didn't and maybe it's just difficult to tell yeah okay i believe this is the right height all right uh, <laughs> Can we speed this process up? I don't think so. We can... Oh, we've got five workers in there. I think five of them just grew up. Awesome. So I'm going to leave this beaver unemployed. And I'm just going to explain you why I will be doing this as well. So, essentially, um, all the houses or the workplaces where the beavers are working are fairly important. When one of those beavers passes away, another beaver has to take their place. And that can only be an unemployed beaver. So if we just keep creating more jobs and don't have any unemployed beavers when someone passes away that means that the house is going to be empty until someone becomes unemployed and of course yes you know you can you could say it's more efficient to have them in buildings doing stuff but for me because i do forget things i would not like to have one of the important um work areas to be forgotten so the best way for me to approach this is to just keep it empty. Okay, so we got 1.7 days. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with what we said before. I can start building that side, so I don't want to demolish this until everything else on the sides is done. Because I'm sure we will flood something again. Okay, so that's going pretty well. I know it. you've already seen me build this before, but it's just going to be a slow progress for us. And I'm pretty excited to get this area going up a little bit as well. I do want to start getting metal, which means we need more power. But the, um, the reason why I haven't... Actually, we can research it. I do want, want it to be somewhere here. I just don't know where yet. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to think about it in here. What do we plan to put in here? I suppose it could go here. And we just need a, like a warehouse nearby that stores uh, some of that scrap metal. But here it's not really connected to any of those buildings. It would be lovely if it was. I mean, the same applies over here, but in this location it's just more difficult to logistically connect it to power whereas here a uh, little bit easier but still gonna be annoying unless we of course smack it in here let's just think about it for a second we could have a couple more i'm just gonna pause them yeah maybe this is a good spot for for the metal what is it the shredder you could go in here too far, but this is close. Oh, that's because we don't have roads. Uh, but what about behind here? Or front? No, front is better because that way we can slap down, I don't know, some more decorations. Maybe a couple of trees. I mean, same behind. We could put a couple of trees there. Let's just put it down as a placeholder and then we'll see. Okay, on pause again. A few more levees are in place, so let's just keep filling this gap up. Two more there, and this side is starting to look pretty wonderful. Wait, two bar for builders? So we are going to have to give them a different way up. Potatoes are ready, so let's have a couple of farmers in there. Ooh, our log situation has gone down. Totally missed that, but that is okay. We've got... Let's do that. You will be coming out. I think we have a few more. Yes, we do. Alright. Off to those flags now. These berries are gone. You've planted all. 
And you've harvested it all. Now we got two spares. Alright, so the drought has ended. Uh, we are not going to see this fill up. And that is because, well, it's not complete. So yeah, it's just going to keep flowing through here. I think the next thing to make it a little bit more efficient here. Or give them uh, two extra tiles. Will actually be... To put in a platform that goes straight across. So they don't have to go... Uh, actually, it's not going to give them an extra one, is it? No, I'm wrong. I'm going to deprioritize this. But it just feels nicer when they don't have to go swimming under under there. Uh, not important right now, so let's just take this out. And we'll give you high priority and you. And everything there as well. This wall is starting to come along quite nicely here. No complaints at all. And now it means we can also... Uh, don't do this yet. Uh, let's just build a f the, the top level too. Alright, so water... Yeah, so that means no more trees in there. We are going to need you guys to still work in that station. Because, oh yeah, 3.2 days only. Actually... It's going to be a priority to get those trees out. No, if they die, we still get the same amount of resources out of them. How are you guys going? Potato numbers should be going up soon. we got 17 in store. I think at some point we are going to need an extra one working at this grill. Maybe we'll just give you a priority so the haulers will be bringing potatoes to you and you don't have to run around looking for them. And a few more potatoes here. Okay, that is looking good. And we are going to need this forester back. You can probably come out. Do we have someone here now? Yes, we do. Magnificent. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, do this off camera now. I'll try and complete the the reservoir. Get, get it to the right height. And uh, then in the next episode, I'll be able to... Uh, well, I mean, I guess, I guess you already know what it's going to look like, but... Uh, but uh, yeah, we will end the episode here. I'll do some uh, off-camera work. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you again in the next one.